Hello folks and welcome to my live stream. We are filming today in Disney Dreamlight Valley. We are going to do a really quick video on a document I've shared several times. Um, I also found it on uh, the Disney Dreamlight Valley Discord channel. If you haven't joined that, that is highly recommended. It's a wonderful uh, Discord channel. You get all sorts of tips and tricks. There are general chat channels where you can talk about anything and there are tips and tricks channel where you can get uh get advice from there as well um i highly recommend some of the links that are shared in there one of them is a disney dreamlight valley it's a google doc um you can open it in uh, google docs you can open it with if you download it you can open it with any any document program it has several tabs on it when you open it up. And I will go through each of those. I have referenced it many, many times in my videos. You might notice um, some of the recipes. I was reading my recipe video. I was reading off of a document that was telling me all the five star recipes. It has a tab um, labeled meals that specifically has um, all the recipes that you can make. It also has little notes on the side with a table of contents um, and items. Items that can be made in Remy's Realm with free ingredients have little uh, blue little X marks next to them. So there's all sorts of little bits and pieces, even in just the recipe guide, um, that can be extremely helpful. Uh, we want to thank Katrin. Uh, the good people of Dreamlight Valley for helping figure out a lot of these recipes. A lot of the folks in the, the Discord channel helped to put this together. Um, there is some uh, pumpkin math on the side. There's a, a little screen that shows you a uh, scoreboard with uh, pumpkin puffs. Three pumpkin veggie platter, five pumpkin veggie platter, and pumpkin... Um, looks like they've worked out the costs for growing... Um, for cooking, the profits you get for each. Um, it's really helpful, helps you with, uh, if you're going to be growing food specifically for earning money, um, spoiler alert, it's in there. Um, also, there is a character sleep schedule on the next tab that it'll tell you the sleep schedule for all of your Dreamlight Valley friends. Anna, Ariel, Donald, Elsa, Eric, Goofy, Kristoff, Maui, Merlin, Mickey, Minnie, Moana, Mother Gothel, Remy, Scrooge, Ursula, and Wally. Those are all the characters that are currently in the game. Um, at the next patch, many of us uh, suspect that there will be uh, Scar being released, but we're not sure yet. So these are these are all as of October, beginning of October in 2022. The game's still in early release. Um, and I'm sure that this document will also go through a multitude of changes before it's all completed. I've noticed some changes in it just since I've downloaded, since I got the link. Um, it is online, so changes are being made to it constantly. So if you do download it, make sure to make note of that. Um, you're going to want to constantly check for updates a lot of these issues that are in the, a lot of the things that are in the document um, some may change some may not but there is a sleep schedule and in that sleep schedule it's going to tell you when each of your friends will typically go to sleep so if you need to find them for a quest you need to take them out and speak to them or if you want to give them gifts or whatnot this can be a really really helpful thing to have uh, let's see no one sleeps from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m., apparently. But there are other uh, there are other sleep schedules. Also, there's a, a schedule here for Remy's Restaurant, when you can find who in Remy's Restaurant. That can be really helpful if you're looking for somebody in particular that you need to cook a meal for, or if you just want to cook a meal at random. You know who you're going to find there. Um, let's see, there's a tab for gems, and it's going to tell you all the gem types, amethyst, aquamarine, and 
its location. You can sometimes find some of those gems in more than one location, such as the shiny citrine can be found in both the Sunlit Plateau and the Glade of Trust. A sell price for 1500 You're going to find that in that document as well in this third tab called Gems. There's a little link in here telling you how to get iron and iron ore fast, a YouTube video by Barb Plays Games. Um, there are a lot of content providers out there that are really, really helpful. I'll uh, give a shout out to each and every one of them because of their hard work. They find these things, they share them. A lot of us, we, uh, we find it after the fact and we share them with you. Make sure to give a shout out to everybody who does a lot of hard work for all these. The next tab you're going to find is your flowers tab. And in that flowers tab, you're going to find all the different types of flowers, their location, and their sell price. There's a little chart in here because at the moment, leveling up Ariel and Ursula can only be done by giving them gifts right now. That's, well, that's going to be the, your, your fastest way. I mean, doing quests for them, obviously, is going to help. But some of the quests don't unlock until you've leveled them up more. So you need to level them up. And here's a little chart on this page showing you flowers, how many it's going to take. And let's see, we need to get these, get these plants all watered up so they'll continue to grow. When I planted these, it was raining. Watch it start raining once I get planted. There's currently a bug in the game where if you're planting while it's raining, that your plants will come out all watered. And many times, they will not be watered once it stops raining. Oh, yeah. If you're, uh, if you're playing the game on the Switch, there are still bugs in it. Um, this game is still in early release. Um, I've had less bugs on my PC than most people um, on anything else. Consoles, Switch. Um, some people have had less problems on their PC than I've had on my PC. Um, it really depends. A lot of There's a lot of variables there, and I don't know what all goes into it. Um, let's see, the next tab in our Dreamlight Valley document is called Stalls. And it's going to tell you all the items that you might need, like apples, carrot seeds, lettuce, lettuce seeds, wheat seeds, can all be found in the Peaceful Meadow at Goofy's stall. And it's going to tell you the cost of them. So each of the stalls is going to be listed. What you can buy there. So if you're looking for a particular food that you want to buy or a seed that you want to plant, that chart's going to come in handy. Next, uh, next tab is going to be fish. Um, what it's going to list all of the fish. Um, the rarer fish can be caught in the lower tier bubbles. It's a rare chance, though. Um, usually, you want to look for gold spots or blue spots. Um, for those rarer fish, um, the white spots, um, of course, you're going to get more common fish. And outside the bubbles, most of the time, you're just going to get the, the really, really common stuff and uh, um, and the seaweed. But in this list, it's going to list every single fish, um, its location, where you can find it at. And some of these fish can be found in multiple locations. Some of the fish can only be found in certain locations in certain colored spots such as anglerfish forgotten lands uh, gold spots uh, the bass outside of bubbles in the peaceful meadow forest of valor sunlit plateau frosted heights and forgotten lands same thing with the seaweed can be found outside of bubbles in looks like every area the herring can only be found in dazzle beach and the glade of trust this is going to come in handy if you're looking for something in particular this chart is going to be priceless for you. Next tab is going to be ingredients. 
If you're looking for specific ingredients, where to find them, say you want to cook a meal, um, you're going to want to uh, open up this tab, go to the ingredients list. It's going to tell you, say, for instance, asparagus can be found in the Frosted Heights. It's grow time. It's 135 minutes. Feed cost is 150. Sell price is 133. Your profit's going to be 249. That's going to give you a coins per minute of 1.8444. Um, harvest three of them, and it needs to be watered twice. Check out. Check out Scrooge's store. I might just clean them out of all this stuff. Um, not only is it going to tell you the seeds, but it's going to tell you your grains, your fruits, your spices and herbs, where you're going to find those if you need to go and plant some garlic. Immediately, you, at, one, at a glance, you know you need to go to the Forest of Valor. And if you want to sell it, you can sell it for 60. It, these are just really helpful charts um, for anything you need. Next chart is going to be animals, um, which for all, is going to be really helpful for even late in the game because it's going to take a while to get the critters as friends. So it's going to tell you where you're going to find them, and it's going to tell you their favorite food, and a liked food if they have any. For instance, the sea turtles like seaweed, and that's it. They don't have a secondary food. And the sea turtles can be found on Dazzle Beach. But if you want to catch crocodiles, they love lobster. That's their favorite food. Um, they like herring and squid. I don't know how much of a difference that makes as far as uh, their familiarity with you becoming your friend. There's a neat desk from Rick and Ralph. I'm going to buy that. Um, but then it also gives you a little chart on how to approach them. The squirrels, the rabbits, the raccoons, crocodiles, turtles, foxes, and birds. All of them are here and it's a really, really handy little chart to have you're going out and you're trying to make critters as your friends because as we all know we all want critters as friends if I go to mine I have not made friends with all of them well I can't even change my critter while I'm indoors okay there you have it um, and then there's a important update on the orchid sunbird um, their favorite item is bugged for the orchid sunbird the development team is aware and they're working on a fix they're hoping it'll be done with the scar update, but there's no guarantee. Um, so even no matter what is tested, it'll always be like, so feel free to just hoard resources, use any flowers or berries you may have access to. Um, some of the animals might take one time, some of them might take multiple times giving gifts to. The next tab, continuing on, is going to be the animal sp uh, spawn days. Um, say, for instance, you want the gray squirrel, and you, it'll tell you what days they spawn on, Tuesday and Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday, um, and it'll tell you what times. So, if say you're just trying to build up your collection of animals, and there you have it. It's going to tell you um, what time you can go look for them, uh, and which ones are not available yet. We don't have the ravens yet, but it does list them in the document so it can be easily updated when we get them in the game. There's going to be um, different types, just like with the rabbits and the turtles and the foxes and the raccoons, squirrels and the sunbirds. Okay, so the next tab is going to be your crafting materials. Really helpful. Um, what the material is, what the location is, um, if there's any other locations such as coal ore can be found in all the biomes by mining. It's going to tell you your retrieval method as well. Clay is going to be found in the Glade of Trust, the Sunlit Plateau, and the Forgotten Lands, all three areas on the left side of your map. Um, <clears throat> really super helpful if you're looking for clay. Um, I found for myself, just as a general rule, that wool, yeah. I talk goodly. Um, go to your map. And on the left hand side you will see your Forgotten Lands, your Sunlit Plateau, and your Glade of Trust. All three of those areas are going to have um, a lot of items that you're going to need a lot of, such as clay, your coal ore, your gold nuggets, um, your hardwood, any of your wood. The sand is going to be found in the Dazzle Beach 
um, only, but that's not something that you need a lot of. I'm not going to spoil anything um, other than saying that, but there are some items that you need tons of and other items you don't need a whole lot of. Some items are found in only one biome and others are found in multiple biomes. So this, this little handy dandy chart will tell you um, not only where to find them, but what the retrieval method is for those. Next tab is going to be your crafting recipes. Also, some of these tabs will actually show you a map as well. Um, very handy map, such as like where... Yeah, where you can like place trees. Let's see, okay, next one are uh, crafting recipes. Um, your, uh, if you don't want to have to go to a crafting station to look them up, this list here is going to show you what you need at a glance, how much of what, what ingredients be really helpful. Uh, this is somewhat new when I first looked at this document. This page wasn't here, so like if you know you want to make burlap bags, it is a furniture. You need 10 soil, 20 fiber. Really simple to make those. You just need a lot of those. Um, if you want to make a heavy wooden table, you need 20 softwood. That's all you need. And softwood is fairly common to come by. So you can make yourself a lot of heavy, heavy wooden tables in order to put all your items on. In, uh, in your house. Let's see, we'll go to time zones and daily resets is going to be the final tab. Um, kind of helpful as well, I mean, really helpful depending on what you're doing. Each of these tabs is invaluable. Um, this one here is the, uh, the daily reset time for each of the characters, Scrooge's store, Kristoff's stall, and Goofy's stalls when they reset. If you're in mountain time, that's going to be 2 a.m. for each of those. If you're in Pacific time, it's 1 a.m. Central time is 3 a.m. And Eastern time is 4 a.m. Um, if, you, if you just remember your time, um, it'd be really easy to just tell everybody their time because it's just uh, slightly an hour or two up or down depending on where you're at. Um, also, the, uh, the reset categories for critter feeding, 12 a.m., daily discussions, 12 a.m., so like when you have to have a daily discussion with a friend. Um, character favorite foods resets at 5 a.m. The thorns reset at 5 a.m. Um, there's also a lot, of, uh, a lot of new information that keeps coming in, so it's a work in progress. So if anything here is uh, in error, they always welcome the feedback. Um, this link is going to be provided in the video description and I'll also uh, put a link to the Discord channel for anybody who hasn't joined the Discord channel. It's highly recommend you jump into that and uh, make some friends. Um, the most, most common channel for me there is the tips and tricks, mainly because I pick up a lot of, a lot of information really quickly there. That's where I found this document. You go to the, um, you go to the, the uh, announcements, I think it is. There's a couple of pages there that you can open up and you will find the links to this document. You will find links to um, a lot of information that I haven't shared on this channel yet, but I do. From time to time, I come across, come across something new, and I'm like, wow, I didn't know that, so here it is for you guys. I try and share it every time I learn something new. I try and keep the videos short and sweet, but sometimes that's uh, easier said than done. Um, I'm going to cut this one short and maybe stream another game later, but this is a... We're reaching our 20 minute mark, and I know for YouTube that's, uh, that's about the maximum I want to sit down and watch a video for. But uh, I want to thank all of you for joining my live stream and uh, my stream on Twitch. I want to thank all of you for subscribing. ask you to hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload a video. Um, I normally will stream on Twitch and then I will upload it to YouTube. There are a few videos I have yet to, uh, to upload to YouTube. I may never. 
So make sure to check out both. Sometimes you'll find stuff in one that you won't find in the other. Uh, I want to thank you again for being awesome and remind everyone it is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So make sure to uh, reach out, take a moment to uh, be a good listener. Don't judge. Be ready to help if needed. There is an 800 number I will share, 1-800-799-7233. That's 1-800-799-SAFE. You can go to the website for the National Domestic Violence Hotline, and you can find that number there. You can find some help there. Um, reach out and be aware. Everybody could use a friend. Thank you all for being awesome. Keep coming back.